Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video talking about different grades of bolts and common uses for each grade of bolt and how to identify different grades of bolts. The first type of bolt I'm going to talk about is uh, what I like to call non-graded which is actually the same as a grade 2 which what I mean is sometimes they can be a grade 2 and other times they're a uh, non-graded, just a standard bolt. As you can see on these there's no marking on here. So you really don't know what they are. But uh, if you go to buy bolts at a hardware store, or I should say a good hardware store, any bolt that don't have a marking on it is a grade 2 bolt. And just about any assortment you buy like this at a department store or a hardware store, I think this set was like 5 bucks or something like that, you're not getting a very good grade of bolt, but it's good for uh, around the garage or around the shop, you know, where you don't have to torque something down to a certain spec or anything where you just like to like if you're working on a lawnmower or something you need to use a bolt for a, say like a belt guard or a chain guard or something when you use a better grade of a bolt like a grade 5 or grade 8 for something like that you're just wasting the bolt the way I look at it when you don't need to torque something down you can just use these standard bolts like this either a grade 2 or even a non graded okay these four bolts and these four bolts look basically the same except for the thread. These have a coarse thread and these are a fine thread. But if you look at them, these coarse thread ones, get this to focus, they don't have no uh, lines on it. It's just uh, there's a number there and CY, that's probably a company that made them. Whereas these over here, let me get it to focus, have three lines in it. And the three lines mean a grade five. Anytime you see them three lines like it pointing towards the center, that means it's a grade 5 bolt. Which is what I was saying, there really ain't much difference between these two as far as color goes. If you had one mixed in there, you wouldn't even know it unless you were actually looking for it. And if these were the same type of thread, it'd be even worse. Here's another example of a grade 5. As you can see, see how that looks. But you can get a coarse thread, grade 5, or a fine thread, basically any thread you want for any grade of bolt. Now these next bolts we're going to talk about are grade 8, which are just about the strongest bolt you can get. And you identify them by five lines on it. And they usually have a yellowish color to them. See how these are? Now the nuts on each one of these bolts may not be a grade 8. I just They were already on here and I didn't take them off. Here's another bolt that's a grade 8. It's an old bolt that the nut was cut off of. But a grade 8 is a real strong bolt. Now a major difference between grade 5 and grade 8, if they're in a real stressful application that involves like twisting or bending, a grade 5 bolt will bend. But a grade 8 bolt will break because the way they harden these, they become more brittle. But the main advantage is you can get a grade 8 bolt tighter than you can a uh, grade 5. And these will take more stress. Like a good example would be a head bolt. Most head bolts will be a grade 5 or grade 8 depending on the, the application. Now a lawnmower engine I think uh, the head bolts are like a grade 5. But on a car engine I'd say more than likely it would be a grade 8 head bolt on it. And another application for grade 8 is uh, connecting rod bolts. This is a rod and piston out of a Briggs and Stratton 5 horse. Uh, you can see the rods are a little scored up on it. But the two bolts that hold the connecting rod together is a grade 8. Which kind of surprised me because the, the rod is aluminum. Seemed like to me a grade 5 would have worked on this. But. Now I'm not going to get into tensile strength and PSI and all that. We're just doing a general discussion here on different types of bolts. But I will get into a little bit of information about how the, each type of bolt is made. A grade 2 bolt is a low or medium carbon steel. A grade 5 is a medium carbon, quenched, then it's tempered. And a grade 8 is a medium carbon alloy steel. It's quenched and tempered. Now another type of bolt you can get is stainless steel. But uh, a good way to tell if a bolt's stainless steel, they don't have no particular markings on there. But just check it with a magnet. If, a mag if it don't stick or just has a very light pull to it, it's usually stainless steel. 
You can get a brass bolt too, but you don't see a brass bolt very often. And brass, you can tell by the color of what it is. And there's also chrome plated bolts in all three grades. About the only way you can tell what that is is when you order it or buy it in a hardware store. It'll say what grade it is on it. As far as I know, there's no marking on it on the end of it. There may be. I'm not really sure. I never have worked with chrome bolts. Now these are all standard bolts or SAE bolts. I'm not going to get too much into talking about metric bolts, but there's three grades of uh, metric bolts just like there's three grades of standard bolts. An equivalent to a grade 2 would be a grade 8.8, .8. and a grade 5 would be equivalent to a 10.9, and a grade 8 would be a 11.9. That's how metric bolts are measured. And I'm pretty sure they, really, they usually have a stamp on the end of it instead of markings like this. It'll usually say what grade it is. Now if you get a bolt that has letters on it like I was talking about this one, that's just your manufacturer markers on it. The company that made it put their initials on it or what have you. And with anything else, the better grade of the product you get, the more it costs. Grade 2 or non-grade bolts like these will uh, cost totally nothing. Like I said, this is like 5 or 6 dollars. But this same set, the same number of bolts and nuts and washers in it was a say a grade five, it'd probably be easily a fifteen or twenty dollar set. If it was grade eight it'd be even more than that. But unless you're getting into heavy fabrication around your garage or house, this is about all you're gonna need. If you start building go karts or mini bikes or anything like that, you might need some grade five bolts. Here's another bolt I thought I'd talk about in the video here. You see it's eight inches long. It's a pretty long bolt. I bought it to make a knife out of it and I never did. Uh, anyway, talking about bolts, this is a 5 8 bolt. But it's a, it's a standard grade bolt, which is a grade 2, but it's zinc plated. So if you left it out in the rain, it won't rust. Now if you start scratching it or something like this, it'll rub the zinc coating off of it and it will start rusting. And there's a few more various bolts I got in hand here. See, these are pretty good sized bolts here. I'm not sure what grade these are, but I would guess probably about a grade 5. It's got like a black oil finish on it, like a metric bolt has. So they might be metric, I'm not for sure. I never have measured them or anything. Okay, here's something else I came across while I was going through all these bolts and stuff to make this video. It's a uh, lock nut. I'm not for, there's two different types of these, and I'm not for sure what this is. One type, when you put it down on a bolt and tighten it up, the nut will not come back off. It's a permanent lock nut. And the other type works like the type that has a piece of nylon in here, like a friction lock nut. I'm not for sure what type this is. But I'm pretty sure this is a grade 8 nut because of that yellowish color it has. Well, that's about all I can tell you about bolts for now. If you got any questions or comments, I could probably look up some information for you about it certain grade of bolt or certain application for it. Well guys, that's just about it. If you all got any questions or comments, leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.